Hello guys, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Dark Souls 2 and uh, we kind of picked up where we ended last time which was down in this cave which was filled with angry goldfish uh, or fire salamanders uh, well there was two of them down here and one guarding the entrance and I haven't of course explored this cave yet so I'm pretty sure there's going to be more of those guys just around the corner and I really don't want to have to deal with any more of those because they are kinda tricky and I did die last episode once to them which of course is unfortunate but that's just uh, you know an everyday thing in Dark Souls crack red eye orbs I've got a million of these but thanks anyway um, Oh, that seems to be like a very bad spot to uh, fire arrows from. Oh, but he's still alive. Can I open this? Oh, there seems to be someone on the other side. Maybe I should try uh, knocking. No? I'm kind of guessing this door leads to the... Uh, other door that was at where the place where we fought the uh, the last giant I think his name was that big angry tree and we still can't open this all right uh, I'm guessing we're gonna have to find a key or something to make that happen we are gonna push forward into this cave and I'm gonna be super cautious I do not like the looks of this and I keep hearing things and I think it's my own movement I hear paranoid as ever rebels great shield now I wonder if they put it there for me to just kinda study it and then get completely murdered but I'm gonna have a look at it Oop, wrong button now rebels something something great shield Jesus, that's pretty heavy and it's pretty... Not very good for physical, but all the other stats are pretty damn nice. But, yeah, not too bad. But I'm definitely not going to equip that. Not now, anyway. Oh, hang on! Well, what do you know? This is the... Uh, the place that I saw from you know outside I think we can go through here and go in through a door and actually I think pick up a fire sword because I did actually glimpse this in a video ah, yeah I think it is a fire sword Buy a longsword. All right, let's see what that does. There we are. Fire longsword damage 78, and fire damage is also 78. Well, yeah, no, I'm not gonna use it. Not now, anyway. I suppose we could go out this way, and I still haven't quite figured out what these guys are the reason for why these petrified guys are here I really don't know I mean there's nothing here that petrifies you or maybe those salamanders fire salamanders do that maybe I just haven't been subjected to that particular attack which is fine by me I don't want to ever see them again I'm just gonna unequip some stuff here now what to do next we kinda picked up everything in here which is kinda nice and now we're gonna have to deal with some of these guys oh hey man I'm thinking we're gonna go back to the bonfire and try and figure out what what the hell happened there 
no idea. And try to figure out what to do next. Um, so see you over at the bonfire, pretty much. Yeah, back at the bonfire, and I actually came up with another thing we should check. Something that I heard about or read about, I don't remember quite what, but we're going to go to the bonfire called the Soldier's Rest and check something. Because apparently if you are invaded there's a 10% chance that something is going to show up in the in the room next to this one uh, by that big giant tree and we are going to see if that happen because we did get invaded for the first time uh, a couple of episodes back so maybe that's worth checking out hey man how are you doing Oh, no! <laughs> he basically used me as a tennis ball there. That was incredibly stupid by me. <laughs> oh, God, I'm an idiot. All right. <laughs> yeah, that was incredible poor judgment, that. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, well, um, let's, um, let's try that again. But this time, not jumping into the void or uh, maybe I should say that's uh, not be treated like a tennis ball this time around oh what the frick now I do believe there is a another Koopa Trooper somewhere around here which makes me kinda slightly concerned I'm just gonna run back here and just have a bit of a look-see <clears throat> Yep. I'm gonna try and deal with these guys. Maybe even do this. Because I don't really feel like losing my souls here. Ah, there's two of them. This is this is bad news, alright. I'm gonna use my bow a bit. Maybe we can... Oh! Oh, that seems to be working fairly well. Sorry for going quiet there a bit, but I kind of wanted to focus a bit and not screw myself over a second time. Now, could you please lock on? Oh, maybe I can't because he's kind of hiding behind that railing. But now it worked. All right. Let's see if we can find the item I'm talking about. And I'm not actually quite sure what this is because I don't remember. But there is a 10% chance, if you're invaded, that something is going to show up in here. And I'm not sure how this works. But a giant rest in peace. So apparently there's nothing here. So that was one complete waste of a life, so to speak. But, yeah... Gonna have to come back here once we are invaded again, which hopefully will happen soon enough. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's one. No, there's not. I think we should be fine. Shouldn't there be a dude over here? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Now, I'm kind of thinking that there is gonna have a bit of a peek up here and yeah no 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 don't you, you just stay there all right just stay there uh, maybe I'm gonna have to deal with these guys oh you got me you little shit oh fuck get down there man <laughs> Right. Oh, what I was going to do, I was going to try and have a bit of a look over there because there seems to be some sort of platform over there that I kind of noticed. And I'm just kind of curious if I can um, 
get to it somehow. Now, how to deal with these guys up here? I don't really want to fight around with them more than necessary. I don't like fighting two of these guys at the same time. No, 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 you just stay there. You just stay there. I'm... Oh! That was a bit clumsy. Could you please fall down? Thank you very much. It was not quite how I meant it to go, but yeah, ugh, I'm really careless today. I'm not playing very elegantly, am I? But I did actually manage to hurt them a bit with fire bombs, and I'm hoping they are kinder. About to die, maybe. Yeah, that guy's kind of hurt. The other guy, I'm not sure about. Whoa, jeez. They are playing tennis with me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having a pretty bad day. Come on, Cogweasel, get it together. You can do this. Come to think of it, I know a better way of doing this instead of having to fight around forever. We can just kinda shoot this one of the dudes with a bow, I think. That should make my life a whole lot simpler. Right. Fine, now we can deal with the other one. Jeez, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm just not playing very well, or shall I say, worse than usual, maybe. So, no more stupid deaths, alright? One swing and then another swing. No, we just made one swing, alright. Oh, he likes that. He favours that attack. Ah, he should be toast by now. Now, let's have a bit of a look at the passageway that I was talking about. Now, let's just equip my... My binoculars. We can have a look. There they are. Alright, let's see. What's going on over here? That just kind of looks like something there's something over there or maybe that's just the railing maybe you can kind of get over there I wonder how though doesn't seem to be there's a crack in the wall there which makes me kind of suspicious maybe there is a, a way to get over there we could and have a bit of a look at that and then of course there's this passageway here which kind of makes me intrigued as well there's a cave and then there's a kind of a road that leads up to a broken bridge that actually leads over to this area over here where I believe is where we met Winterbro for the first time um, this could of course just be decoration so I'm guessing maybe there's no way of getting over there but this place looks more like it and that kind of broken wall kind of makes some s well maybe it doesn't because there's no s no ladder up there so why would I want to go through the wall over there and come to think of it that's not a crack in the wall that's a tree <laughs> all right I'm sorry I I need I need a pair of stronger binoculars actually I really do and there's no way to get in here so let's just move back to the bonfire and uh, try our hands at something else we have actually one more thing well at least one more thing to discover in in uh, the uh, forest of the fallen giants or rather it's rather a way out of this castle and uh, we're gonna have a look at that and I'm actually gonna speed this up Oh, 
And we are back at the area where we fought the uh, pursuer, I think uh, he was called, or it was called, I'm not sure what that was. A big angry armor. And we fought this guy with my friend Malignant Wraith, if you remember, a couple of episodes back. And then we carried on over here. And actually, here is a, a bird's nest that you can go up and examine. And I actually did that. Uh, uh, last time when I was here, but we had some technical difficulties and the uh, yeah the recording was screwed up and yeah, so we actually decided to go somewhere else. But I'm going to try and do that now, so you can see hopefully get the animation and see what happens here. And I'm actually kind of thinking I'm going to come back to life because I want to have my extra hit points. Besides, I look so more so much more sexy alive than uh, like a rotting corpse. Oh, the Lost Bastille. Uh, I don't really know much about this place. I just kind of went over here pretty much and then didn't go any further and then we decided to play another area, the Heidi's Tower of Flame, I believe. So I have no idea what this place is all about, but I'm going to find out and I'm sure it's going to be... Oh, hi. What might you be? pretty big, that's for sure. Oh, I haven't got any arrows equipped, that's a shame. Uh, let's do that, because that is pretty useful. I think I ran out of arrows completely. Now hang on, what am I doing? I'm doing this and this. So, I would assume that you're hostile, right? So, uh, how do you feel about this? You don't seem to like it. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Is he trying to run away? <laughs> he's trying to get away from my arrows. But I'm a dick. I keep shooting him. He almost decides to, you know, get in under cover. But he can't quite make up his mind if it's a good idea or not. <laughs> the AI is pretty interesting. You know what? I'm going to try and uh, kill you manually, so to speak. Be wary of sweeping attack. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Is there anything down there that's possible to reach? I'm going to guess no. No, definitely not. And I can't get over here either, can I? And I don't want to fight him with my binoculars, so let's not do that. <laughs> we are going to try and... Oh, come on, can I? Oh, I'm going to have to go up here, right? You don't like this, don't like it at all. This guy is rather evasive, it seems. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit like a mummy. A cheap mummy that doesn't drop stuff. Now can I Oh crap. I was gonna say I was gonna go over there and kinda on that ledge. It's gotta be something around that corner, right? Ah crap. <laughs> but we are going to try that when we return to the bonfire, methinks. And this is interesting. The weather has changed quite drastically and we are still somewhere by the coast, it seems. And uh, it is now dark. And there's the moon. All right. Well, let's just blame magic, shall we? Let's just blame magic. Oh, I can't get up there? Alright, fair enough then. Let's see if we can go in here. Oh, uh, let me guess. It's going to be dogs down. Yeah, of course, dogs. My favourite pet in Dark Souls. Now you, you're going to get shot a couple of times and then you're going to die and cause me no problems, alright? 
Fine, and you guys. These annoying jumping dogs. Ah, oh, crap. That was not quite what I meant to do, and now I've still got my binoculars active or equipped, which is silly, of course, because they can't really kill anything, I believe. Unless I stare them to death. But that worked out pretty fine. Let me just check my rings, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to unequip the quartz ring and maybe equip something else. Stone ring, possibly. Yeah, I'm going to equip the stone ring. Oh, it's kind of a nice pile up that. What are you guys doing? Uh, oh, sorry. I'm just going to, you know, go over here and give you some privacy. Sorry. Hmm. What exactly is this supposed to do? Maybe it's an explosive barrel? Me me thinks so neatly placed and there's more barrels over there ah this is uh, I'm gonna regret doing this but I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> see if we can um, throw some fire bombs over there and see what happens oh yes indeed <laughs> I thought as much I thought as much I'm guessing this one is gonna explode as well all right. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of dealing with the dogs then. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Dangerous barrels. Uh, so what's in here? Oh, shit. I completely missed that hole. God damn it. <laughs> now everything just went silent and it's an open area, which kind of means that something bad is going to happen. Pretty deep drop. And yeah, there's the item that I was talking about that had to be around the corner, right? So once I get back... To the bonfire, I'm going to go get it. Hmm. Can I... Suppose I shouldn't be farting around with this too much because eventually you're going to fall through the, the geometry here and die, I'm pretty sure, so let's not do that. Let's instead go and uh, have a peek inside this coffin here. I'm going to guess it's trapped. Yeah. No? Hmm, they are messing with my mind. Oh, a key and a covetous silver serpent ring, which I assume is the ring that increases uh, soul drops, right? I think it is. Fallen foes yield more souls. All right. And of course, a key as well, which is interesting let's see if it's got anything a very old key this key is very old but in very good condition such that it should still function only what lock does this key fit well maybe it's the the locked doors over in the uh, forest of fallen giants maybe could be worth trying that out eventually uh, let's not fall down there shall we instead go back up and continue exploring this level for a little bit longer. Not very longer though, because I'm thinking we are going to end the video. We are up to about 30 minutes soon. And yes, I believe that is going to be explosive. Yeah. 
He didn't open the door though. <laughs> Maybe I can just open it manually. Yeah, I could, all right. <laughs> That's a wasted bomb. It just looked suspicious, you know? I had to do it, I had to blow it up. And this is a bad spot to be. And what do you know? I think it's our old friend, what's her name? I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> the longer I am here, the more madness I discover. A wretched place indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? Ah, yes, I have not thanked you for humoring me the other day. This is for you. Of course, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Our land of Mira is surrounded by enemies and constantly at war. There is only one way up in Mira. Join the Order and prove yourself in battle. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. My sword and my loyalty to my lord. I was raised to wield a sword from birth. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here to... Have you heard of the undead? These poor souls affected by the curse. An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true, I can only hope that they are. I'm sorry. To burden you with talk of my fate, I suppose I've grown weary these days. I'm sorry. All right. To burden you with talk of my That's fate. about it. Dialogue wise, let's just have a bit of a peek. I suppose I've grown weary these days. Oh, she's not wearing her her mask, I think, or is she? Could you please look up a bit? I would. No, she's not. She removed the mask. All right. Now we know that. But I think we're going to end the episode right about here. And uh, I'm going to say thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.